Okay, in this one we're going to check the operation of a fan speed control, head pressure control used on a heat pump to operate air conditioning in low ambient conditions. What that simply means is outside temperature may be 40 or 50 degrees, but for whatever reason we need air conditioning inside. So we're going to have to control the head pressure at some point because head pressure, if, it's out, if the outside temperature is too low, head pressure will be too low to make the system actually operate. There won't be enough pressure differential to make the expansion devices work properly. So it just kind of stops working. So we're going to try to deal with that with a fan speed control head pressure control. And I'm going to show you a close-up of the control now. Okay, the control here is an ICM 325H. Now what it does, it slows down the fan so that you can build head pressure. It's a really kind of a neat way to do this for air conditioning. This one, this model, is used, you can use it with a heat pump. Because if the heat pump is in the heat mode, you don't want this thing to come on. If it's in the cool mode, you do want it to come on. So it's got a relay inside it that uh, will allow it to work that way. It's a fairly simple hookup. Uh, this, uh, this is your probe line here. I'll give you a pic of where that thing goes. It goes onto the condenser and it's actually supposed to be reading from the condenser uh, the condensing temperature. So you put it in about the middle of the condenser. Uh, we've got a couple of twisty things here. This one is the, uh, the start range. This thing, what it's going to do, it's going to give a hard start when it first starts up. And I'll, I'll give you operation of this thing. And this one here gives you a cutout speed. And there's uh, ball bearing and sleeve bearing settings. So, uh, let's look at the sensor and where it's located. Okay, you can see where that probe is. Uh, and because this coil is a multiple pass coil, there's actually several coils in it. So you take a look at a discharge line, and then you look for the liquid line that actually comes out of it. You go halfway in between. Uh, so it's, it's mounted on one of the U-bands. You can kind of see those U-bands there. And uh, clean and tight. So it should sense the temperature, the condensing temperature of the coil. Okay, note this is a flat coil. Uh, I don't use those anymore, but it still works fine. Now I'm going to start this thing up here in a sec, and you can watch the uh, pressures change here as it starts to set up. But what I want you to note mostly is what the fan does. Okay, I want you to note the fan's not running. Pressures are starting to go up, uh, 140, 50, should come on pretty soon, 60, 70, 80, 90, there it goes. Now come on fast, but then you notice it immediately slows down. Okay, that's kind of the hard start to get it get it cooking and get the oil moving and so on. Now it's going to adjust that fan speed to the condensing temperature. Okay, after giving a little while to settle this thing down, you can see we're at about 12 and 12 on our super heat and sub cool, 68 on the, well, almost 69, on the suction 171 in the head. Okay, so this thing is gonna work pretty good. Its head pressure is reasonably low, but uh, it's not too low, so it'll still work. This is actually a very, very good way 
to control head pressure on uh, residential uh, air conditioners and heat pumps. So that's how that type of head pressure control works. I'll be doing more on uh, pressure switches and other such stuff uh, as I get a chance. So that is head pressure control for low ambient conditions of the air conditioner used as a heat pump.